Okay, after Thursday's practice, uh, I think our guys are ready to play well. Uh, we've had good practices this week, and uh, we're looking forward to the game in Knoxville, uh, Tennessee. They're going to be tough. We know they are. They're going to give it their best shot. And uh, we got to be ready to play. So we're looking forward to seeing what happens. And uh, looking forward to seeing what we can do here during a stretch run of the SEC, starting with uh, the big game in Knoxville this Saturday night. Uh, Bruce Ellington practiced a little bit today. Uh, he feels like he'll be full speed by Saturday. So he's able to run around a little bit. Didn't didn't do too much, but his hamstring's been a little tight. But uh, I think he should be full speed by Saturday night. Has he missed enough time that you're worried that you weren't able well, to get in as much as you wanted to get in? Well, who knows how the game will progress? Who knows if we need to use a bunch of wildcat or whatever people call it? Uh, who knows? Uh, sometimes you get in the game and you, you don't plan on using it that much, and you use it 15 plays. In the other games, you may not use it much, but we'll, we'll see how the game goes. But he should be full go in case uh, we need to use him a bunch. When did he hurt it? He hurt it in Monday night practice. He was just running around and came back and uh, felt a little twinge, he said. So we rested him pretty much all week. Coach, what's Kenny Miles' status? Kenny uh, is running around well. He and Brandon have uh, practiced well this week. Eric Baker's ready. And Josh Hinch. Uh, don't forget about Josh, a walk on kid who's actually from Knoxville. Uh, he, we, we plan to get him in the ball game somewhere. Can he wear a cast or? No, he hasn't worn much of that. He has a little wrap, a little tape on it now, I think. So he's uh, he's he, he's close to 100%. Yeah. You paid any attention to 2,000 extra dollars there? NCAA approved given athletes and the multi-year scholarships. I saw that. Uh, they're still slighting football and basketball players. They're the guys that bring in all the dough. They should get more, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. They won't agree with me, so it's okay. But that's my opinion. The guys that bring it in the most should get a little bit more. But probably won't happen that way. So, anyway. And, and I really think some walk-on kids deserve some money instead of the scholarship ones. But that's, you know, that's sometimes that's just rub of the green that uh, you gave scholarships to guys not as good as your walk-on players. And that happens everywhere. So I wish they'd sort of tell the coach he could give the dough to the most productive people, just like you sports writers. You know, if you do a good job, you get paid a little bit more. If you're a sorry writer, you don't get paid very much, right? Or, or some sorry ones get paid anyway. <laughs> no, no, it's just kidding. That's just the way I see it. But they, they don't see it that way, but that's that's okay. Um, that's better than nothing uh, for our athletes anyway. Yeah. Looks like they're also going to multi-year scholarships too. Yeah, I don't agree with that at all <laughs> either, but it uh, makes you more careful um, to sign yeah. players and, and really, I told our guys we'll probably try to stay and sign 75 instead of 85 and then have some to give to yeah. walk ons that really earn it and kids that you want to have here for three years. Sometimes you give one to a guy that, well, we'll give him a shot and see if he makes it. And then it turns out he doesn't want to play football. He just wants to be on scholarship. And, I, you know, I don't know how you get rid of those guys under the new rules they're proposing. Right. Uh, but uh, anyway, I, I just believe you got to earn your way in life. And uh, they think as soon as you sign a kid, you're in four years. I, I don't look at it that way sign up for a job in life, very few times do you get guaranteed four years. As head coaches, I guess the only ones, and uh, I've never had to use one of those years. I hope I, I don't plan to ever have to use one of those years under contract to get paid. I don't I don't want to do that. Do you think it'll change recruiting now? I think yeah, it'll, it'll change. You, the school can offer yeah. four, it can offer one. Yeah, I, I think it'll change recruiting to the fact you better make sure he's a ball player. Let's don't take a chance that he may develop. Let's make sure he's a good high school player before we say, well, we think he may get better and stronger. Uh, and you need to check their backgrounds better too. But maybe it'll, I think, I, I think it'll cut back on scholarships. I think it'll cut back from 85 and guys will not try to always use, use the limit, which is what I've always tried to done, is keep it at 85 and uh, then you lose a few and then keep it at 85. So the student athletes are benefiting that way because you always have 85 on. Whereas the NCAA thinks they're being mean to some kids that aren't productive. So that's the way they see it. I, I see it another way, but that's, I'm not, not expecting them to agree with me. And they, they probably don't expect me to agree with them, but they make the rules, so we'll abide by whatever they say. Of course, if you had to go to a number two, would it be Andrew Clifford, Dylan Thompson? Probably Dylan. Dylan's practiced a little better this week. Uh, Dylan Thompson has done some good things this week. So uh, if Dylan uh, kind of gets banged around a bit or whatever, uh, Dylan would be next in line. Okay.